So for my regular viewers, you guys should already be fairly familiar with my 2015 Chevy Silverado I recently purchased to replace my aging 2005 Ford F-150. Now compared to the last video, you guys saw this truck and there is something slightly different. In my opinion, it makes the truck look so much better as well as safer. And that's going to be the tow mirrors. I took off the stock mirrors and I replaced them with Boost Auto Parts tow mirrors. And I'm loving these mirrors so far. So for the remainder of this video, I'm going to basically do a bit of review of these mirrors. Talk about why I decided to purchase tow mirrors. And also I'm going to talk about the first set of tow mirrors I purchased um, from Amazon. Which were about half the cost, but they had about half the features. So if you're not about this, feel free to skip this video. For those of you remaining around, let's start talking about these mirrors. So one of the first questions I'm sure some of you will ask is why bother spending a couple hundred dollars on a set of tow mirrors when the stock non-tow mirrors seem adequate? Well, in my opinion, I don't think they're adequate. Now, with a stock mirror, you get about this much glass. I'm talking about this upper portion of glass, so you don't get a ton of visibility. It's kind of like having a car mirror. So with these tow mirrors, you have this upper portion of glass, which is much larger, giving you a larger field of view behind you or making it easier to identify objects behind you. But also, more importantly, with these mirrors, you get this wide-angle convex mirror on the lower portion of this tow mirror. And this is, in my opinion, invaluable. This aids in parking, so backing up when you want to look at the parking lines to make sure you know you're right in the lines. Even though this truck does have a backup cam, you can't rely on the backup cam. You always want to check your mirrors and your surroundings, so it's great for parking. And also, it's really great for driving on the highway when you want to merge lanes. If you were to just check the upper mirror or the stock mirror on a Chevy, it doesn't offer a great field of vision in your blind spot. With this wide angle convex mirror, you really can see your blind spot. So first and foremost, you get a much better field of vision behind you and what's beside you. So for those reasons alone, I think they're well worth it. Now, in addition to the improved visibility that you get with tow mirrors, sometimes you may find yourself pulling a trailer that is wider than the truck. And that therefore may create a blind spot. But with tow mirrors, they have the ability to expand out and therefore eliminating that blind spot. Now that I've covered the improvements that you obtain visibility wise, let's talk about some of the other features that you can get with tow mirrors. Now, the first set of tow mirrors I bought through Amazon, they were around $200 and they looked similar to these mirrors but they didn't include as many features so what i mean by that is the amazon mirrors they have turn signals but these turn signals don't double up as parking lights so i bought my second set of mirrors through boost auto parts and i gained so many more features so um, with the amazon lights they also came damaged and they came used there was actually salt residue all around the lights which indicates a lack of quality control and additionally the lower convex mirror was shattered so I was really disappointed in that. At that point I decided to shell out an additional $200 so these mirrors cost me around $400. I bought them through Boost Auto Parts. I'm not sponsored by them, I'm making this video on my own. And I got pretty much every bell and whistle I could with these lights. So you get parking lights and these parking lights double up as turn signals so when you have the headlights on and you put your left signal on this light will be illuminated from the headlights, but when you put that signal on, it'll start blinking brighter than the parking lights. So that's a good feature right there. Let me take you around to the other side of the mirror and show you the other features in the back. All right, now let's review some of the features on the rear view facing portion of this mirror. So first off, you have a heated pane of glass, the upper portion, so that's great in below freezing conditions. I plan to do plowing with this truck, so that'll keep the snow and ice from building up on there. You also have six red LEDs, which will come on with the left turn signal and vice versa on the right side. Those will come on with the right signal. So that just aids in safety and visibility in my eyes. And here's a really cool feature about these mirrors. They have two white LED diodes right here. Now, these lights are fully customizable. And what I mean by that, when you go to purchase them through Boost Auto, they have basically a list. And you can list all the functions and features you want. And then the lights are customized um, basically how you want to build them. With my build, I got all the features, all the options. Um, so these are the highest output lights that they offer. And these double up. So these act as reverse lights. So when I throw the truck in reverse, these lights will come on. And additionally, inside the cab of the truck, I have a cargo light switch. And up in the third brake light, there's a little uh, white light up there. And that'll illuminate the bed of the truck. But when I flip that switch now, also these lights come on, which illuminate the side of the truck. 
So that's a really cool feature right there. Got a little chilly out. 30 degrees out, trying to rock sleeveless, could not do it. Cold finally got to me. So before I conclude this video, I'm gonna rant and talk a bit about the installation because this is gonna be really important. You really wanna pay attention here if you are planning to buy some tow mirrors from Boost Auto. So with my Chevy, it had, you know, just regular mirrors, kind of like what you see on my Ford. And those mirrors were motorized and they had the heated pane of glass. Now, if you plan to have all the functions or similar functions to my lights, the stock plug connection for the stock mirror does not include the wires for the parking lights, for the turn signal, for the reversed lights. Those you need to add separately. So Boost Auto Parts gives you two options. One, you could buy, I wanna call these jumper wires. And these jumper wires, they're a cool idea, but they're very expensive. So basically what happens, you have the stock plugs and these wires basically plug into the backs of empty ports in these plug connections. And here's the thing, it's expensive. It's $50 for maybe a, a couple of these wires. And you know, they're thin wires. I tried to research and find the exact um, metal ends that plug into these connectors, but I have no idea what they're called. I have no idea where to look for them. So they kind of got you by the balls here. So you could spend $50 and buy these jumper wires. Honestly, that is going to be the easiest way to install the wires for the additional features if you want them. Here's the other option. You can do a hard wire, and that's what I elected to do. Now, I'm not to toot my own horn, but I, I'd like to think that I'm quite intelligent when it comes to 12 volt, 12 volt automotive wiring. I can't even pronounce it properly. That just speaks to my intelligence right there. But yes, I, I am quite good when it comes to automotive wiring. So for me, this was actually a, a little bit of a challenge here. So Boost Auto Parts does include a ton of helpful information, but there's also some information that they are lacking. Um, something that I found really helpful during this install, if you go onto this website, I think it's called GM Upfitter. That is an invaluable website. And in this website, they basically have kind of like a text document of all the electrical wiring diagrams of every wire on this truck, which wire goes to what, what color, really invaluable. And that really helped me out in this install. So if you do plan to do the hard wire, um, like I said, you know, Boost Auto Parts does include a lot of helpful information, but um, you're gonna have to do a lot of thinking for yourself here. And also for ratting the wires, getting them through the door, that's challenging. They do include some helpful videos, but this is definitely a bit of a challenging install. I, I'd probably give this a, difficulty wise, I'd probably give this a three or four, probably three and a half to four out of five stars in terms of difficulty. So you can absolutely do it. There's a lot of helpful information. Again, they have great customer service, which I've said probably five or six times now, but that's it. Now I'm just nitpicking here, but there is one thing that I really kind of dislike about these lights. And it has to do with these two LED diodes on the rear facing portion of the mirror. Now when you order these mirrors, you know, you have the option to customize them. And these LED diodes traditionally are designed to work just with the cargo lights. So when you flip that cargo light switch on, the LED diodes will come on. And if you leave it that way, you're not going to have this problem. But I ordered mine so that they work with the cargo switch and they also work with the reverse lights. Now here's what I dislike, and this is kind of the downfall. So after you know, you're running your truck and you shut it off, um, I set up my truck to have the lights stay on for 30 seconds after I get out of the truck, and this is what happens. Or whatever I unlock the truck as well. Those diodes come on, which it's good in terms of lighting up behind the truck, but the thing that kind of stinks about it is if it's really dark out and you're going up into the truck, it's really blinding your face right here. Now, I'm, I've disconnected the reverse light jumper um, before and that eliminates this issue. So this will only occur if you order them with the reverse light um, added feature. So that's just one thing, you know, you can disconnect it if you don't like it, but I leave it for now. I just hate that it blinds me. All right, I think I've ranted about these mirrors enough. 
I really like the company Boost Auto Parts. You can buy replacement parts for these mirrors. Um, definitely many more features than you, what you'd get on like you know an Amazon set of tow mirrors. Uh, additionally, they're a fraction of the cost of what you pay for for factory mirrors. I think I was looking up factory mirrors and they're like 800 bucks a piece. So spending $400 as opposed to $1,600 for pretty much the same thing. Well, I'll take it. That's it for this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. Please consider hitting that subscribe button and stay tuned for more.